Hello! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to achieve ultra-realistic graphics and visuals in city skylines, using the same settings that I use in my cities. This short tutorial will help you have the game looking like real life in no time. Let's say you just loaded up city skylines, but your game looks like this. Or this. No need to worry! In this video, I'm going to be going over all of the mods that you'll need to start. A full collection of the mods mentioned in this video will also be included in the description below. But first, let's take a look at the graphics settings in-game. In the graphics settings, you'll want to make sure that your quality settings are all set to the highest settings possible. If your PC is capable, also set your shadow distance to very far. Lastly, you want to make sure that you disable anti-aliasing. We'll come back to that later and replace it with a mod. The first and most important mod you will need is called Render It. This mod allows for you to adjust the lighting and texture settings in-game. This mod also includes some post-processing effects into the game like ambient occlusion, and is also where you will re-enable anti-aliasing. In the top left, I'm showing off the current settings that I use. Feel free to pause or go back at any time if you'd like to replicate these settings, but also feel free to adjust these as necessary to suit your individual need. The goal is to have your city looking bright, clear, and crisp. You'll also notice, in the texture settings, I set each type of texture to a filtering level of 8. I find this to strike a good balance in between good performance and nice visuals. Everyone's PC is different, however, so if you find that your performance is not doing well with these settings, feel free to lower them a bit. The second mod that I recommend is called Relight, and this mod really allows you to fine-tune the color and lighting of your city. Again. These are the settings that I use, but feel free to slightly adjust these. If you have a warmer climate build, for example, you may want to increase the color temperature. Theme Mixer 2 is the next important mod you will need. This mod allows for more flexibility over your theme textures, but also affects your visual settings and LUT. In the Atmosphere menu, you can see how I have my sliders placed to adjust the exposure as well as the latitude and longitude of my city. This mod is also where you will select your LUT. I'm a big fan of the Relight 2 LUTs, especially Relight 2 Natural and Relight 2 Neutral. Don't want to have the ugly orange glow that comes with a vanilla game? You'll need the mod Daylight Classic, an absolute must-have mod in my opinion. Turn everything off in the mod settings for best results. After that, you'll want to have some control over the fog in your city. The best mod for this is the aptly named Fog Controller mod. Here are the settings that I use, but feel free to adjust them as you like. Now, let's talk about clouds. Cube Map Replacer is a great mod to improve your atmosphere in-game, also known as your skybox. This allows you to import images into your game that simulate realistic skies. There's a few options that I like to use, but I really enjoy the Cedar Bridge skybox for a stunning overcast look. AD Cloud Replacer is another mod that just came out recently that can improve your atmosphere. This mod brings realistic, moving clouds into your cities, but it can be difficult to find the right settings. I recommend these as a good starting point to make the clouds look more realistic. All of these mods together may affect your performance some. To offset this, I recommend using the mod Play It. While it's not a visual mod, Play It allows you to slow down your simulation speed and gain back some additional FPS allowing you to push your visuals just a bit further. I usually set mine between 15 and 30%, but for a realistic real-time simulation speed, use 35%. Now that your city looks good, you'll want to see it in detail too. This game uses a technique called LODs, or Level of Detail Scaling, to help render the game with a balance between performance and visuals. The vanilla game enables these LOD models too early, giving the game a blurry and sometimes broken look. Increase your LODs using the mod Ultimate Level of Detail. Here are the settings that I use to have a good balance between nice visuals and without killing my FPS. If you have a less powerful graphics card or a mid-tier PC, you may want to adjust these values to be a bit lower. You can also toggle these settings on and off using the included hotkey command. It's a really great tool to use for better screenshots. Another mod to increase visual fidelity in-game is Dynamic Resolution. I have mine set to 400% to increase the native resolution of the game and to create better visuals. But again, if your PC is not as capable, 
you may want to consider setting this value to 200%. Finally, to capture your new realistic visuals and graphics, you're going to want a good camera mod as well, and that's where Acme comes into play. This mod also incorporates better shadow control nowadays, so I recommend finding a good balance here between visuals and performance. I use these settings as they seem to work the best to reduce the awful flickering effect that you sometimes see. Use this mod along with Cinematic Camera Extended to create stunning cinematics using the built-in camera pathing tool. Using all of these tools together, you can now ditch the vanilla look of the game and create hyper-realistic cities too. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more tutorials like this. If there's anything else you'd like to see explained, let me know in the comments below. Also, feel free to check out my Pittsburgh and Rochester City recreations if you'd like to see how I build realistic cities.